Hi, it's Owen on the 2nd of July with our service of prayer and devotion. As we begin, I invite you to close your eyes and consciously relax your jaw and the space across your shoulders. And take a deep breath in through your nose and let your breath go with a long, slow sigh. Give yourself the gift of stillness. It's God's breath that fills our lungs. And it is in God that we live and move and have our being. So we remember that we're in God's presence now and for all time. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two laws hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy and write both these laws on our hearts, we beseech you. Please join me in saying a portion of Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. Hear the good news according to Matthew. Once more Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they could not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I've prepared a dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, <coughs> and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. And while the rest seized the, his slaves, maltreated them, and killed them, the kingdom was the king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go fair, therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all of whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe and he said he was speechless then the king said to the attendants bind him hand him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen the gospel of christ One of the phrases that I've always wondered about is, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. And I sometimes have thought, what does this mean? It's, it's common for us to ask God's blessing, but how do we bless the Lord? I think the, the thing for me is to remember the banquet, the wedding banquet, the marriage. It's our call to Sent, settle into 
a state of blessing, the state of being blessed by God and the state of blessing God. And this is, this is the state of always striving to be present to God and always admitting that God is present to us. I think blessing and acceptance are very close in meaning. And blessing and acceptance are, and love are very closest, close in meaning. Because love is ultimately a deep acceptance, a commitment to being with God, to being with others, and being with ourselves, accepting fully who we are, accepting our situation, saying thank you and saying your will be done, O oh God. As we settle into our time of contemplative prayer, I invite you to sit comfortably with the eyes closed softly, setting our intention to be present to God. Relax the jaw, take a deep breath in through your nose, and release a long, slow sigh. Bring all your awareness just to the flow of your breath in and out. receiving the gift of life that is the breath. And as you receive the gift of the breath in, say thank you. And as you let go of the breath outward, say thy will be done, O God. we settle into making our breath itself the prayer. And as you're breathing in, begin to, with each breath, gather together the names of those for whom you wish prayer. With each name, as you breathe in, say thank you. As you're breathing out, surrender that name to God, saying your will be done. And add your own name to that list. As Jesus teaches us, we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I bid you peace.